Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sheila Mwigawa. If you're new to the channel, welcome. And please don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, and also share this video. If you already subscribed, thank you so much. I see you. Gyabonga. Thank you. Gyalibocha. A lot. Thank you so much. Um, in today's video, I'll be sharing on how to become an au pair and move to America. That's what I did. I was an au pair and I'm going to share with you some few tricks on how to, bec um, to become an au pair. The tricks, things that you should and should not do. So let's get into this. Okay, first is first. Make sure this is what you really want to do. Because baby, you have to have the heart. And I'm not trying to discourage you, I'm going to tell you why. Make sure this is something that you really want to do, okay? Make sure, you know, sometimes you've been studying and you just feel bored and you're like, you know, I want to do something different. Or maybe you've always dreamed of coming to America like I did. Make sure this is what you want to do, guys. When I moved to America, I was 19 years old. I'm, I'm sorry, I was 20 years old, turning 21. So that was, I was pretty young. And that was like in 2005. So it's 2020. Make sure it's really something that you really want. You know, it's, it's really good to explore, especially when you're young. It's been a while, so I wrote some of the stuff and I had to update because I did in 05 and obviously it's 2020, so things have changed a lot. So to become an au pair in America, you have to be a certain age. You have to be between the ages of 18 and 26 years of age. So if you still around that time, kudos, get into it if you really want to do it no pressure you if that's what you want also you must be able to speak English very well I mean you don't even have to speak English very well but just understand English and also you have to have grade 12 you have to have finished standard 10 well wait a minute they don't call it standard 10 yo I'm so old grade 12 you have to finish grade 12 you don't have to have college it would be nice to have college by grade 12 and also you have to make sure you have a driver's license that is, that is not expired okay valid driver's license and then once you have that make sure that you find an agency I, I wouldn't do it online i would rather have an agency somebody that i can talk to because that's how i did it it was much more easier because they walk you through all of that but you know what again i did it in 2005 so if you can apply online just do it just do it just do it um so that's what you need you have to have at least experience with kids I mean, if you're 18, sometimes you haven't even babysat or whatever. It could have been your cousins, your sisters, your, your neighbor's kids or your neighbor's whatever. Or you know when your sisters, they have kids in South Africa and then, and then they go to their parties, they go body timing and stuff like that. I mean, I'm, t I, I'm always referring to South Africa because I'm from South Africa. <laughs> I'm just saying, like maybe they go to clubs and they leave you with their kids and then you have to take care of the kids. That's an experience, okay? Put it on your resume and say, hey! I know how to take care of them kids, honey, okay? Because you know how they do it at home, they have kids and then they leave their kids with you. <laughs> it's not shady, it's the truth. That's the reality. Anyway, write that shit down, say, hey, I have experience with that. Uh, and also, you must be willing to commit to a family for 12 months, okay? They give you a J1 visa. J1 visa, yes. J1 visa is actually for a year, sometimes. It's two. I have a friend of mine who was lucky enough to have three years visa, a J1 visa. So J1 is legible for one year and then the, the family can extend it. For example, if you love the family, your host family, um, and you like them, they like you, and they decide they want to extend your stay with them, then they'll give you, I forgot what it's called. Uh, I'm so sorry. I'll make sure that I put it right here on the video. Um, I'm sorry about that. Uh, and then you extend your stay. So you. Can't, so you don't want to be legal in America, okay? Because you don't want to be legal. Right now, I don't think it's the best. I don't. This is the best time to start applying if you really want to do it. Because I mean, even though there's the pandemic and I think some of the borders are closed, I don't know what's going on. I haven't traveled, but it's better to start like uh, putting things together right now for next for getting yourself next year or the year after that. You know, you know, I, I always like to be ahead of time. I don't want to wait for the last minute to wreck. Where's my passport? Where is my driver's license? Where? Oh my God! My letter's license is expiring. Oh my God! I gotta get, I gotta get a date for my driving license test. No, I don't like to do that. This is the best time for you guys to start 
getting a little file and taking your driving license classes and all of that type of stuff, working on the experiment, I mean the experience of you know working with kids if you don't have that and also and just figuring out if it's something that you really want to do. And once you have that, you're gonna need a medical, but that's when you've already did the first part of like saying who you are, why well, you wanna come to America, you know, blah 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 blah. And once you do all of that on the process, you will be able to um, you will you have to go for a TV test, like some medical stuff, to make sure that you are good to go to move to a different country. And once everything is in, you have your license, you have your application form, you start getting uh, calls from American families. Um, and you, you don't have to be from South Africa, you can be from Germany. I've met so many people from Brazil, from Israel, from all different types of countries, you know, this doesn't have to be only so that Ken wants to come to America, it's for everybody who's living outside the U.S. who wants to come to America to take care of the kids and experience the lights, the action, and the Hollywood. Well, not Hollywood, but you know what I'm saying, <laughs> Broadway. So, once you get all that done, you start getting calls from families, they be like, hey girl, hey, we love your profile, we want to see if you want to come and join our family. Okay, first of all, I had intentions, like I knew what I wanted. Some of you just want to move, I just want to move, it doesn't matter if I go to Texas. I'm not saying there's, nothing, there's anything wrong with Texas, but me personally, I was like, I want to go to New okay. York. So I knew. I knew that I wanted to come to New York, so I spoke to a lot of families and they were like in Tenna buses to Tenna what and I'm like, I never heard of that. I want to go to New York City. That was my goal. So I don't know what you like, but you will get a lot of calls, you know, and then also you have to really vibe with the family. For me, we were vibing. I, I don't really... I mean, they were very nice. I don't even think, I don't know if we were vibing, but all I know is they said New York City. I was like, yeah, New York City. New York City, New York City. So, you know. Okay, so once the application is done, the family start calling you and you decide, okay, I'm going with this family, blah, 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 your choice. They will tell you when you should go for your visa. So you'll go get your visa. Hopefully you get it because I had a couple of friends of mine who friend of mine who wasn't approved. I don't remember what was the reason, but we trying to stay positive. So let's say you get approved of the visa and they'll give you the day um, that you have to fly. So you have to make sure you have the money for the flight because well, pay in America does not give you the money to come to the US. You have to use your money. But when you're done with the program, when you're in America, they will buy you a ticket to go back home, wherever you're coming from, okay? So keep that in mind. So once you have approved, you approve with your visa, and now pack your bags because you're about to go to America and leave your dreams. It's gonna be fun, and when you get to America, um, you would, they will go to a four, days orientation in Connecticut. I don't know if they still use that, they use that uh, place, but you'll go to a uh, basically um, four day orientation where they give you guys the things that you should and should not do. Like, don't shake a baby. You will go to jail and get deported and it's not cute. So they give you all of the stuff, the ins and outs, what you should and should not do. So you say, Sheila, you keep talking about this and this, like, what is that money like? Okay, so when I did up here, I, I think we got like 140 or 130, I don't remember. But I just looked it up and it looks like you get $195.75 US dollars per week. It's still not a lot of money, but it's better than 140. And I'm from South Africa, so when I moved here, the US dollar was like six. six so the money was low. I was like making kind of like six hundred dollars a week, something like that. Six hundred rents, like if I converted into rents. But now one ninety five, I think it's three thousand something a week, depending with the what the U S dollar is. Now I think it's between seventeen, eighteen. 
So 195, not bad because you get to live with the family and then they get to, you get your own room, you will get your own cell phone, they're paying for the cell phone, they have to pay for your transport, depending where you live. If you live somewhere where you have to drive, then they'll give you a car or you use their car, they, you know, they're not gonna gift you their car, but you use their family car to drive the kids around for yourself. But if you live in New York, you don't really need to drive. They'll give you like a weekly metro car. Um, and also, they will give you your schedule. You are supposed to work 45 hours per week. Yes, you do. And also, you will get a time off. You entitled to a time off. Okay. Don't let these motherfuckers use you because let me tell you something. I'm gonna do a separate videos about some of the bad experiences with OPE in America. But there's the good and the bad. My experience was great. This was not so great with some of my friends. Okay. But we're not gonna let that stop our goals. If you still wanna do it and try it, please. Okay. And also, what you do is, the family is supposed to give you $500 education allowance, so you have to take like uh, credits, you have to have credits. I forgot how they do it, but they'll give you $500, so you have to take, you have to complete some type of education. I went for acting classes. My host mother was shook, honey. She's like, what? I'm like, yes, girl. Did you think I just came into America just to take care of them kids? Girl! not happy but you know what I did your girl uh, I took my first acting class <laughs> they're supposed to give me $500 don't tell me how I should use my money that you're supposed to give it for me okay so I did that but I was still showed the credit so I, I volunteered at some homeless shelter thing yo okay so that's pretty much it you guys if you really want to do it make sure it's something that you really want to do it's possible i did it i'm here 15 years now i'm a citizen but if you want to do make sure you have the heart for it like you very you have to be patient i'm gonna be honest with you i'm gonna be honest with you it was not easy in the beginning i was so scared when i got to new york um to meet the host family after four days of, of orientation i was like I do the right thing like what are you doing girl and I got that the family was so happy it was so weird with the kids I'm like hello kids hello hello but I'm gonna make a separate video with that but also guys please if you like this video hit the like button comment below and tell me what videos you want to see next time and also what do you think about this video okay because yeah subscribe if you haven't subscribed and I just want to say on a serious note guys if that's something that you want to do, don't let nobody stop you. People are going to say things. People are going are gonna to be negative about it. People are going to say, what are you doing? You're going to sell yourself. So and so, yes. I mean, you know, in life, how do you know if you don't try? You know, I hate when people like, I would never do this because I heard this. But if it's danger, like where they say, okay, they're going to kill you. Yeah, I wouldn't do like, if they say Shiva, there's a snake lions and stuff like that don't, don't go in there and i look or maybe i don't look and they are in there i'm not gonna go there that doesn't make sense but what i'm trying to say is don't let nobody stop you from your goals your dreams if you want to come to america and experience the american culture please do that right now i know it's not the right timing with the pandemic going on with, a, with the, this president that it's just madness but i feel like everything in life passes you know what i'm saying this period one day will will be our way things will get back to not the normal but the better normal and you guys can be able to come and, and visit the united states why not and maybe you might run into other stuff and stay like i did okay um that's it for this video thank you so much for your support uh, for even clicking on my videos. Thank you so much. I appreciate you guys. I will see you on my next video